Greetings, people of the internet. My name is Simon, and I'm a local pianist and teacher here in the city of Norwich in the marvellous country of England. Um, I have this habit of every time I walk past a piano, um, I want to have a little play on it, and it got me thinking that I might like to play on a few more pianos and perhaps meet the pianists who play on those pianos themselves. So I have this idea that every episode I will go and visit a pianist at their home, uh, where they are practicing on their piano, and learn a little bit about them, why they learnt the piano, how they learnt the piano, and what they intend to do, if anything, with their new skills, uh, and also find out a little bit of history of their piano that they're playing on. And I hope to get them to play for us, and uh, so we can record them playing one particular piece that they are fond of playing, or that they're currently learning, um, so we can have that as an entertainment for each episode. Um, I suppose the first thing I better do is uh, give you a history of myself and I suppose there's only one person that I can ask to do that for me. Um, I can only apologise for what follows. What ho, me old roasted chestnuts? Simon's asked me to just tell you a little bit about how I picked up the piano when I was younger. Started when I was six when mummy and daddy took me to the local piano teacher, Barbara Edwards. I then played the piano ever since, irritated the heck out of our next door neighbour who used to play Land of Hope and Glory on his French horn as loud as possible to try and drown me out. Oh, the fun we had. I then helped at the local Andram from time to time and I even trod the boards with mummy in the light opera. I then taught a few people and then jetted off around the world in a lovely little career in the office. Now, these days, I'm back studying hard at the UEA for a master's, and I'm hoping to make music my life, and I'm off to... Oh yes, okay, no worries, must toddle off. Got to go and hoover the sheep. Dastardly fluffy blight as they are. See you soon. So, uh, this is a five and a half foot Brinsmead uh, grand piano uh, that uh, is uh, quite special to me. Uh, it's a 1930s um, uh, piano. Um, the Brinsmead are no longer manufacturing pianos anymore. I think they stopped in the, uh, and not, not long after, uh, in fact. Uh, this was a, a piano that I knew um, quite a few years ago because uh, I've got a friend who's a piano tuner. Um, he runs Anglia Piano Services uh, and his name's uh, Bob Fielder. Uh, and uh, he had this piano in his house uh, for many, many years, uh, and I actually enjoyed playing on it when I was uh, quite a bit younger. Um, but then he decided to renovate it, uh, and he's uh, completely renovated the inside, new strings, uh, new dampers, new hammers, uh, every, and the entire action's been entirely renovated. Uh, uh, and it's a lovely, lovely piano. It took him uh, a long time to renovate it, and now it's here in, in my home, and I've played on it now for uh, nearly four years, um, I think it's yeah, nearly four years, um, and it's got me through um, associated board diplomas, it's um, got me through my concerto, I played Mendelssohn's Piano Concerto recently in Norwich, um, and uh, I also do all my teaching on this piano uh, right here. Um, it's, it's a fantastic instrument and uh, it means quite a lot to me. Um, it's got a unique sound, um, every piano is different, uh, and uh, I've had people sit here and say it's quite a heavy piano, um, and yet that doesn't seem to it doesn't seem to sort of hold me back. If anything, then when I go and play um, these super expensive Steinways or Bosendorfers, then I, I find that I can move my hands very quickly over those um, because this <laughs> this is uh, sort of slows me up. If you like, if it, if people regard it as heavy, um, I think it's a fantastic piano. Um, so we have a uh, piano evenings here where we invite people around to come and listen uh, to the piano being played and other instruments. Uh, and uh, there's, I've had no complaints as yet. So I suppose the best thing to do is to uh, listen to it. Thank you. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that piece. Um, uh, as you're more than aware now, I'm uh, not Lang Lang or Stephen Hoff. I'm an amateur pianist. Uh, I do enjoy my teaching. I take my piano very seriously, uh, regardless of what other parts of this video may um, uh, appear. Um, but uh, what I'd like to do is to meet some more pianists and see some more pianos, play some more pianos. Um, uh, ability is irrelevant. Um, I have people sit here on this stool um, who are complete beginners. Uh, age is pretty much irrelevant as well. As long as there's a story, if you like, if there's something about the piano or something about yourself that you'd like to, to share with the uh, wonders of the internet, uh, then please do. Uh, style is also irrelevant. I've just played a classical piece, um, but it's uh, Chopin to Queen to Bellowhead. It doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm not fussed. Uh, anything, any, any music, any style, um, uh, as long as there's some music in it, I suppose. Uh, so it appeals to the to the masses. Um, if you don't want to play anything, then I'll more than happily play your piano um, uh, just to get the chance to play on another piano. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, slightly eclectic uh, video. Um, please subscribe uh, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.